Hello there and welcome to the old horseshoe on the banks of the Olentangy. Home to the Ohio State Buckeyes, one of the great settings in sport. And man, this place is rocking today. This is an important matchup, a battle of two top ten teams. Two forces colliding. One team will leave here making a big statement. As we'll see the number one team in the country, the Georgia Bulldogs, taking on the second ranked team, the Ohio State Buckeyes. 3A Sports College Football, I'm Chris Fowler, here in the booth with Kirk Herbstreit. I think we've talked long enough, Kirk. Let's get this game going. The Buckeyes will kick this deep to get us going. They'll return it from inside the five. And he stopped at the 19. Good job by the coverage team. So the Georgia Bulldogs offense going to get the chance to start this game off. And here he comes, the quarterback, all eyes on him. He's the guy that just makes everything go. Well, this guy's Mr. Do-It-All. It's almost odd to say this about a quarterback, but he truly does. He's the echo of the coach and the connector of this offense. When everyone is hooked up to him, this team operates at maximum capacity. And that usually means their opposition is in trouble. Tackle finally made, but it's a big game. Moves the ball to the 48. And we have an absolute lightning strike on the first from scrimmage here. How about that? Right out of the gate, they're going for the big play, and they hit it. What a way to jumpstart this offense. Just underway, and this home crowd is fired up and ready to make a difference today. And they'll run it out of the shotgun. Tackled behind the line. It's a loss of two. Now it's second down here. Now they run a draw play. A sophomore with a strong tackle there. So the offense getting set. This is not where you want to be against this defense. Third and long. Dropping back. It's back. Running back has it on a screen now. On third downs like this, you can only allow completions in front of you as long as you can protect the sticks. And that's what the defense did here. They knew where the sticks were, and they were able to make the tackle short of the line. The Bulldogs bring their punt team onto the field. And the punt goes out of bounds. The officials now will mark the spot. So the Ohio State Buckeyes offense gets their first crack now. This wide receiver, Kirk, is so dynamic. It puts a lot of pressure on the corners. And frankly, the safeties are going to have to get involved in coverage today, right? Yeah, the free safety is going to be tempted here to make plays. But this quarterback has a favorite target. He comes up with most of the 50-50 balls. They expect to see plenty of double coverage and help from this free safety today. Boy, what a throw and catch again by the Ohio State Buckeye offense. You think about how Ohio State has been able to really grow over the years. Go back and think about Chris Carter back in the 80s and Joey Galloway in the 90s. And, of course, most recently with Garrett Wilson and Chris Olave, Jackson Smith and Jigba. So many great receivers, and it's been fun to watch this young man today. They'll try and run it. Here's the running back. Goes backwards, losing three yards there. Well, the back just had nowhere to go. How about the defensive line? They eat up all the blocks up front, freeing those linebackers up to be able to make the play. Just a bad play all around for this offense. Offense getting set up. Here's second down. And the quarterback dropping back. Makes the catch. It's Smith. And he heads out of bounds after gaining a few yards. We see this all over the country now in college football. Defensive backs staying back a little bit deeper, forcing the quarterback to have to throw things in front. 
I like the decision here by the quarterback because he gets positive yards. It's a good way of staying ahead of the chains. Receiver in motion now. To throw. It's Howard. It's an out route. The catch made. Oh, and he breaks free. It's a foot race. He could not stop him. He's in. Touchdown, Ohio State. Oh, just outstanding execution here by this offense. The offensive line gives the quarterback time, and the quarterback's anticipation was on point. Puts that ball right in the money. The receiver, all he had to do was turn and catch the ball for that touchdown. Kicking team out for the PAT try. PAT is good. They jump in front, 7 0. Now the kickoff team is out on the field. Returner decides to field it. He'll be tackled at the 18. That's good coverage there. And the Georgia offense is back out on the field. The last drive stalled. They were forced to punt it away. Let's see what they can come up with this time. Close to the tight end. He's a wide open receiver complete. And that's good for a first down near the 40. So off the play fake there, the big tight end gets open downfield. Well, I love this call right here. Anytime you can run the football, eventually it opens up play action. Linebackers and safety's eyes are in the backfield. They lose the tight end completely, and a quarterback throws that one on rhythm for a nice game. Quarterback still with the football. As the first down is still going. That's a big game before he goes out of bounds. It'll move the sticks more than enough for a first down. Boy, this offense does such a great job of putting the threat of the quarterback and the running back on this defense. It puts the defense in a tough spot because it's really hard to take both away. This time, the quarterback gets out and shows you the speed he has as well. Out of the shotgun, he hands it off. Oh, they test the middle there, but get nothing. Getting set. Here's second down. Moving the receiver around pre-snap. Dropping back. It's back. Looks to the left. Pass caught. To get him down quickly, not much of a gain on that completion. catch makes it a more manageable third down dropping back we're going to throw for the first down here's a screen pass to the running back and they wrap him up but the gain is good enough for a first down well, it's a good thing they pick up the first down here because it would have been interesting to see they were kind of in that no man's area there if they did not pick up the first down would they have kicked the field goal or would they have gone for it but here doesn't matter. Nice first down. Georgia setting up with a first and ten now. The shotgun running play call. Jukes to get free. Breaks a tackle and he's got room. After second effort, he's brought down but he's past the marker. They trust the left side of that offensive line and come up with a huge play on the ground. Yeah, your favorite, Chris, there. The old pin and pull there to the left side. Great blocking on the left side. Able to create a great push. Nice crease, and the back found that with the vision and picks up some big yards for that first down. Georgia now operating in the red zone. And the quarterback keeps it on the option. It's a short game, but look at that defense swarm to the football. Not exactly the outcome this offense was hoping for here on the option. I'll give them credit. They didn't lose anything, so it wasn't a negative play. But this kind of play's got to be able to hit big and get down the sidelines for big yards. 
coming to the line on second down. This is important. They want to avoid a third and long. Offense will keep it on the ground here. A juke to man, but not much room to maneuver. Stopped after a small game. An important third down conversion coming here in the red zone. But to the air. It's back. He's running out of time here. Catch made in the end zone. Touchdown, Bulldogs. Lining up to try the extra point. And it's good. Kickoff team is on the field. Let's see if they give the returner a chance to bring this one back. Return starts from inside the five. And he stopped at the 19. Good job by the coverage team. And the Ohio State offense comes back onto the field. They scored a touchdown on the last possession. Let's see if this defense has been able to come up with some adjustments and stop them this time. That game moves the ball out near the 25. Second down after that run on the previous play. Quarterback looking to connect with the receiver here. Makes a quick grab. And a big game before he goes out of bounds. The offense keeps churning, gets a fresh set of downs. Just another great example, Chris, of an Ohio State quarterback and receiver combination being so dangerous. Think about it. Over the last eight or ten years, I think Ohio State has been as consistent as anybody when it comes to the passing game and the efficiency that comes with it. It's a quarterback keeper. Has the first down and more. Oh, and he fumbles. And the ball will bounce out of bounds so they avoid the turnover. Oh, my gosh, Chris. You can almost feel a collective sigh of relief coming from the offensive sideline as that ball rolled out of bounds. The offense catches a break. One more awkward bounce. That ball maybe stays in bounds, and the defense has a recovery. Caught over the middle. It's Scott. That's an explosive gain. They've got him, but the gain all the way to the 28. So some early drama here. We're all even at the end of one. Let's take a quick pause and check out the stats from this first quarter. And as we move to the second quarter, we hope these teams will build a promising start. The Buckeyes pick up enough yardage for a first down. Looking downfield, it's Howard. He's a wide open receiver, complete. And they've got him at the four, but a big gain on that catch and run. Well, it's a game of matchups. Always has been and always will be, especially on the perimeter. And the quarterback believes his guy is better than their guy. Back-to-back -back big plays. Defense is reeling. Set up first and goal now. It's a toss to the left side. He powers into the end zone. Touchdown, Buckeyes. Chris, we get so caught up in this era of the spread, of throwing the football and the quarterback and the receivers. This is a great example of the value of having a running back that has a nose for the end zone and can take it in for a touchdown.
And now the try here for the extra point. PAT makes it a seven-point lead. Kickoff team has come on the field now to send this one away. Fielded in the end zone. It's Smith. He's tackled at the 17, so it would have been better to leave it in the end zone for a touchback. And the powerful Georgia offense is back out on the field. They punched it in the last possession. Can they do it again, or will this defense make some adjustments to get a stop? And tackled after a small pickup there. Well, not exactly the outcome this offense was hoping for here on the option. They didn't lose any yards, which is great. I think they're definitely looking for more from that play. Second down after that run on the previous play. To throw, it's back. The pass rush closing in. Looks to his left and makes the completion. Defense reacts quickly, a very short gain on the play. Critical third down play for this offense right here. There's the snap. They'll set up to throw. Defense is coming after him. And he just throws that one away. Took a big shot, but avoids the sack. Man, on your own side of the field, you're playing a risky game here. Third and short. Your goal should just be keep this drive alive the best way you can sometimes. Is just hand the ball off to your running back and have him get behind that offensive line and go to work. Curious to see what they do now here on this fourth and short. And on fourth down, the punter sends it away. The coverage team makes the stop on this return. Here comes the Buckeye offense onto the field. The passing game was so effective in the last position. Right down for a touchdown. We'll see if the defense can make adjustments. Off the play fake, looking to throw on first down. Launching downfield. Physical defending. That one falls incomplete. Brings up second down. And the wideout goes in motion. Play action fake, looking to throw. Looking for his big tight end. It's a highlight reel diving catch there. Chris, when was the last time you saw a tight end this athletic? I mean, this guy lays out and comes down with a huge catch, showing you how athletic he is and what soft hands he has. Offense keeps moving. It's a completion for a first down. Out of the shotgun, he'll hand it off. Finding enough space for a solid game before they stop him. Second down after that run on the previous play. And on the carry, he's heading left. Buckeyes are moving quickly down the field. Well, that's a beautiful run here for the first down. Really living up to that reputation of the great backs that they've had over the years. Think about Archie Griffin and Eddie George, Ezekiel Elliott, J.K. Dobbins. Just so many great backs. We're seeing another one right here. The Buckeyes pick up enough yardage for a first down. They'll run it to the right side. Tackled behind the line. It's a loss of two. And a player is down injured after that last play. We'll take a timeout or they check him out. Here's the second down play. Now they'll switch it up, looking to throw the ball here. It's a quick grab. They get him down pretty quickly, but it's a solid gain in that short throw. going to be easy here. Backed up a long way to go for a first down. 
On third down, he drops to throw. He's got an open man downfield, and it's caught. They finally tackle him at the four. It's a solid gain on the pitch and catch. Well, this is why this guy's one of the top wide receivers in college football. It's third down. The defense knows you're probably going to go to him, and they still can't stop him from coming down with a big play. The Buckeyes will line up here on first down and goal. He'll try to run it in on first and goal. Fights his way in for the score. Touchdown, Ohio State. So it's still early, but this offense beginning to build momentum and build the lead now, Kirk. As we've seen over the years, Chris, good teams know how to use the first quarter to establish the lead, the second quarter to increase the lead, and the final half just to hold on to it. They're following that blueprint perfectly, widening the distance between them and their opponent before we even get to the locker rooms. So they'll try to add to the lead now with the PAT. The extra point is good. They stretch the lead a little bit more. Now they get set to kick it away. And here's the return from inside the five. They'll be tackled at the 18. That's good coverage there. And the Bulldogs offense is back out on the field. This group is coming off a quick Three and out. Can they put something together in this drive? It's a screen pass complete to the running back. Finally out of bounds after a solid gain, but there is a flag on the field. So let's check this out. Ouch. Late contact with the quarterback. An obvious call. First down here for this offense. Off the play fake, looking to throw. Fires it to the wideout. Finds a man to the left. Big catch downfield. Big gain across midfield. Tackle finally made to the 32. Well, when the dust settles and the games are over, it's how many big plays did you create and how many did you prevent? This is a huge play for this offense. Now, can they get the ball into the end zone or they have to settle for three? Fresh set of downs for the offense after that first down completion. And this one goes nowhere. Lucky to get back to the line of scrimmage. Well, this is exactly what you want to see from the defense. Yeah, you give up the catch, but you're right there to be able to stop this receiver from making any yards after the catch. What's the play call here on second down for this offense? Pre-snap motion from the receiver. Off the play fade, looking to throw the football. And it's the senior getting home with the sack. What a play here by this defensive line. You can get so caught up in the flashy offense of Ohio State in recent years. But let's not forget, they still play defense in the shoe and have such great history and tradition with that defensive line play. And sack sets up an important third down. Looking to pass. It's Beck. He'll take a deep shot here. Caught way downfield for a huge game. And he takes it in for the score. Touchdown, dogs. Chris, as you know, anytime you hit a big post route like this for a touchdown, the timing between the quarterback and the receiver is essential. Nice job of not waiting too long. Quarterback takes a hitch, gets the ball out early, and allows his receiver to run underneath a beautifully thrown football for the touchdown. And now they'll set up for the point after. PAT is good. They still trail, though. Kickoff team is on the field to boot this one away. And the return starts just inside the end zone. Solid job by the coverage team. They bring him down at the 16. 
First down here. Time for one more play before the clock stops for the two-minute warning. Looking to throw it on first down. Grab down the middle. It's Judkins. Defense makes the stop after the completion. It's the two-minute warning of this close, competitive first half. A completion sets up a second down play. Here's the snap, and he's looking to throw. Caught over the middle. It's Smith. The tackle him at the 38. Solid gain. Nice play there. You know, this is what makes this receiver so dangerous. If you play him in man, he can run by you for a big play. You decide to sit back in zone, and he's got the savvy and instincts to be able to find that soft spot in the zone, make a catch, and be dangerous after the catch as well. Here comes a first down pass attempt. Finds his man. It's Henderson. Completion makes it second and short. Looking to throw. It's Howard. Goes to his right side there for the completion. And he'll head out of bounds, but not before picking up enough for a first down. That is high awareness for that receiver to know where the sticks were and adjust the route accordingly. Buckeyes lining up here on first and ten. Quarterback drops back. We're going to test the secondary. Grab down the middle. It's Tate. Tackle is finally made, but not before. It's a huge game down to the 25. This offense has become a first down machine, and that's so demoralizing for a defense, especially for those star players who don't sub out as much. But the fourth quarter really starts to wear you out. The offense is clicking, and the defense just searching for answers now. First down. They're going to throw the football. Caught over the middle. It's Smith. Ball carrier tackled at the two. A solid gain on that completion. One thing we know for sure, I don't know as a play caller, you can make that call without a quarterback who can throw it with a big arm. He put that on a rope. The Buckeyes hoping to punch it in here. They have first and goal. The offense will now quickly spend a timeout. So two big plays in a row. The defense is reeling here. Now it's first and goal. Off the play fake, looking to throw. And the junior able to get home with the sack. And a quick timeout call by the offense after the play. Usually you'd like to run the football this close to the goal line, but if you're going to throw it, I'd get the ball out of the quarterback's hands quicker so you don't have a risk of taking the sack. Back to throw. It's Howard. Has caught. Can he get in? He makes it to the end zone. Touchdown, Buckeyes. Chris, that's his second touchdown of the day. You talk about getting off to a great start. He may have more in it. So they'll try to add to the lead now with the PAT. And the kick is up and good. They tack on a point to their lead. So the offense getting some momentum before halftime with the touchdown. Now they kick off in hopes the defense can get a quick stop. They were turning from inside the 10-yard line. And he stopped at the 19. Good job by the coverage team. And the Georgia offense is back out on the field. They've got a choice here in the final minute. Do they get aggressive, try to cut into this lead, or play it safe and point toward the second half? He's got it for a big game. Timeout is called to talk strategy late in this close game with halftime approaching. The game moves the ball to the 39. It'll be first down. 
Quarterback drops back from the shotgun, looking for a receiver. Makes the grab. It's ETN. Defense shoves him out of bounds. Not much of a game there. That completion makes it second and medium. Looking downfield, it's Beck. Finds that big tight end for a short pass. The offense will quickly spend a timeout here after the play. The tight end drag route is the perfect option for an offense, looking to scheme that position open for some yardage. Perfect execution here for a first down. On first and ten here, looking to throw the ball. Oh, that one's picked off. Big takeaway, now looking for a big return. Pass the 20. Touchdown, Ohio State. And the defense adds six in the interception return. For the takeaway and the touchdown, that is just a dream play for any defender. Well, let's start with the interception. I just love the fact that he got his eyes turned around, found the football, and then has the athletic ability to be able to secure it. Then he goes back to high school running back days and shows what he can do with the ball in his hands and takes it all the way back for a touchdown. Beautiful thing. So they'll try to add to the lead now with the PAT. Extra point makes it 35-14. So an important touchdown just before halftime. Not much time for the opposing offense to try to answer before the break. The turn begins inside the 10. And the coverage team brings him down at the 26. The offense comes back out there. Not much time left. Perhaps just time for a couple plays before the half. Heading left after the handoff. Moves the ball up to the 30. Timeout is called to talk strategy. Time for just one or two plays here before halftime. The game makes it second and medium. Back to throw is Speck. Receiver makes the grab. They make the tackle as time expires. That'll do it for the first half. Meadows is going to wrap up the first half here. Let's kick it now to Kevin Connors with our halftime update. Guys, who's had a better seat there in Columbus for an entertaining first half than you? Toughest job inside that stadium right now might just be the scoreboard operator after all those first downs and touchdowns. Big plays have defined this one thanks to two of the best receiving core in all of college football. Let's see if these defenses can adjust and make the necessary chess moves. That said, let's get back to the field and our guys in the booth to start the second half. The dogs will kick this away to begin the second half. And it comes out of the 25. No return attempted there. And here comes the powerful Buckeye offense back onto the field. This group has been clicking. They really built momentum. Can the defense make adjustments? Come up with a stop here. That's a solid game. Lose the ball to the 29. Offense getting set. It's second down. There's the snap. Quarterback setting up to throw. And it's complete downfield. He has first down yardage at the 46. Boy, what a big time play here by this wide receiver. You know, sometimes, Chris, I wonder if Woody Hayes would be enjoying this modern passing attack from his Buckeyes. And I'd like to think that winning would outweigh any concerns he may have about that ball being in the air so often. First down play call. How aggressive will it be? Back now goes in motion. Defense will have to adjust. The gain is three. Now it's second down and seven.
Handoff here from the shotgun. He's passed the marker and still going. He's taken down, but that's a nice gain. They'll spot the ball now at the 35. But these are the type of runs that begin to wear down your defense psychologically. Already have the lead, come out with a nice big gain, and this defense is thinking, oh no, here we go again. Really nice statement here to get this second half started. Gets made on the out route. Chris, a really great job here with the quarterback and the receiver. This is all about timing. Quarterback gets back, no hitch in his delivery, gets the ball out in front of the receiver where he can run away from the defender for a nice completion. Second down after that run on the previous play. To the air, it's Howard. Here's the target, and it's complete. The Buckeyes' offense is on the move now. How aggressive will they be on this first down play? Off the play fake, looking to throw. The pop, and he's going to fling it deep, going for it all here. Touchdown, Buckeyes. And this one is getting ugly. Well, if you're going to give it to him, he's going to take it. That's his third touchdown today against his defense. Whether they play zone or they play man, he's finding ways to win matchups and get the ball to the end zone. So they'll try to add to the lead now with the PAT. The extra point is good, and they stretch the lead a little bit more. The kickoff team on the field now as they get set to send this one away. Bringing it out, it's Bell. And he's brought down at the 12. That's poor field position to start the drive. And the powerful Georgia offense is back out on the field. Pre-snap motion from the offense. Quick pass. Here comes a jet sweep. Picks up three yards. So second and seven. Keeping it on the ground here. So hard running there through a tackle. He's tackled just short of the 20-yard line. Well, they didn't bust that for a big play, but it makes this third down coming up a little bit more manageable, and that certainly has a lot of value. Interesting play call here. Third and short inside their own 20. They want to get this drive going, or a punt could give the opponents excellent field position. Take it down, but not before he makes the first down. Well, that shows you the trust they have in their offensive line in this running game to get to a third down, just trying to come up with a way to be able to keep this drive alive, keep hope alive that you can come back in this game. You rely on old reliable, that offensive line, and they come through for you. Georgia getting set with a first and 10 now. And from the shotgun, an inside handoff. Breaks one tackle, gets brought down, but picks up some decent yardage. Coaches told us in the pregame production meetings they love this back's mixture of speed and power. We know about the speed, but he also showed the ability to break tackles on that run. A game makes it second and medium. Offense switches it up here, looking to throw the ball now. Cannot escape that ferocious pass rush. It's a sack. Well, they're going to go with a play fake here. The only problem is no one on the defense bit at all on the play action. The results are a big sack for this defense. Offense been in reverse here. Now a long way to go to convert this third down. Dropping back. We're going to throw for the first down. And he's got it. Oh, what a move. Goes right through the tackle. He's got room to run now. 
An explosive play across midfield all the way to the 41. This is a big conversion by this offense. They're down now in the second half. Probably limited opportunities at this point in the game. Every chance you get your hands on the ball, you need points. They keep this drive alive right here. And the Bulldogs keep the football on the move. Little eye candy here from the offense. Some pre-snap motion. From the shotgun now. Here's a handoff inside. Right down after a seven-yard game. So it's second and three. The offense with some pre-snap motion. Dropping back. It's back. Running back grabs it on the screen. They finally get him down, but a solid gain in that screen pass. Good call there. And the defense is so caught up in this guy running the football on this drive, they forgot to defend him coming out of the backfield. Nice positive play here. Pass complete for a first down. The offense gets a fresh set of downs. Off the play fake, looking to throw. Launching it. Beautiful catch right near the sideline. Gets the foot down. They bring him down, but the veteran quarterback shows off that trademark arm strength. It's a great play for the offense, but let's give all the credit to the offensive line for that play. The quarterback makes the throw, but he couldn't have done it without the time that they provided. The dogs come to the line with first and goal. First and goal, handoff. Goes backwards, losing three yards there. Ball back at the 10-yard line now for second and goal. And they're moving the receiver now before the snap. And off inside, looking for the touchdown. Tackled behind the line. It's a loss of two. Boy, they're just not successful here on second and goal, but let's give a lot of credit to this defense. They've looked good on these first two opportunities by the offense. They strung that last play out and forced a loss of yardage, bringing up third down. Great job by the defense so far. It's third and goal from a long way out. Here's the snap. Quarterback looking to throw. All the way to the end zone. Touchdown, Georgia. That's a crucial response for this offense, but still plenty of work to do here in the third quarter. Well, I love that they're still fighting and competing. You can tell they've made some adjustments at half and try to get them back into this game. And that score is a great start. They're setting out to try the PAT. And he knocks it right through. Pretty easy call for the head coach. He will accept that penalty, of course. Kickoff team on the field getting set now. And the deep kick will sail out the back of the end zone for a touchback. Fresh set of downs for the offense. First down. Option look. It's Howard. That's a strong stiff arm. Kurt, Ohio State has the lead here after one. And they got to be feeling pretty good about things as we wrap up the third quarter. Let's review how we got here. So one final quarter to play. It's going to take a lot to turn this game around, but strange things do happen in college football. It's a shotgun run call. And he picks up the first down before they get him to the ground. 
Just what a great battle here at the line of scrimmage. Good push by the offensive line, and the back does enough to be able to pick up the first down. See what the call is on first and ten. Tailback takes the handoff again. The gain is three yards, brings up a second down and seven. Here's the toss play. Runner heads outside. Solid run. Tackled with the 45-yard line. I know the toss play began with a guy taking a snap. He turns around. He flips it to the runner. But where the real intrigue is, is can they set the edge as an offense? Whether it's an offensive tackle, a tight end in that same direction, to where they want to run the ball. Because if they can do that, you get the result that you want just like this. If you don't, oftentimes, the play is blown up right at the line of scrimmage. They make the stop just short of the first. Looks like inches to go, and now fourth down. Boy, this guy did everything that he could to try to get to that first down marker. It looks like he's just going to be inches short, and it's decision time for the offensive coordinator and head coach. Buckeyes will line up to punt it away. Landed at the seven and bounced into the end zone for a touchback. And the Bulldogs offense is back out on the field. On first and ten, look at a throw. That one falls incomplete. Good defensive play. Brings up second down. That's a misfire there, Chris. This passing game has got to be able to get into sync and find a rhythm. So after the incompletion, it's second down. Back to pass. It's back. Looking for his back. That one falls incomplete. Looking for a flag. Doesn't get it. Brings up third down. You know, this is the one thing I love about this running back is his ability to get involved in the pass game. Runs a great route. Just doesn't come down with a catch. Well, it's been tough so far to get this drive going. Now they face third and ten from inside their own 20. What's the call going to be? Dropping back. Looking to throw for the first down. Looks downfield and finds a receiver who worked his way wide open. That'll pick up first down yardage very near the 40. Chris, that's a great example of his arm strength. He just fired the ball in there much quicker than the defense could even react. Georgia setting up for the first and 10 now. Looking to chuck it again. That's reeled in. It's Bell. Man heads out of bounds after a decent game. Well, here the defense decided to sit back and play zone, and that front didn't do a good job of pressuring the quarterback. He had the time to make the throw, and he put it on target. Pass caught. Second down now. They snap it. Quarterback looking to throw the ball. Short connection to the tight end here. Looks like Georgia will have the first down. Looks like a man is down on the field after the last play, so we'll take a timeout. First and ten now for the offense. Quarterback drops back, probing the secondary. And the pass is intercepted as he throws into double coverage that time. Going the other way, can they catch him? And he's going to score on the pick six. Touchdown, Ohio State. Well, it's just something freeing when you have this kind of lead and you can just turn the defense loose. Getting aggressive pays off for them here. They get the interception. And what athletic ability there to take it into the end zone for a touchdown. So they'll try to add to the lead now with the PAT. And the kick is up and good. They tack on a point to their lead. Here's 
the kickoff team now. Set to boot this one away. Fields it just outside the goal line. He'll be tackled at the 18. That's good coverage there. And the Georgia offense is back out on the field. Let's see if they can bounce back from that costly mistake last time. A pick six. Tries to get it to the running back. And it's incomplete. The defender arrived the same time as the football. And now it's second down. Scanning the field, it's back. And this pass is caught. And they wrap him up after the completion just short of the first down marker. How about the arm strength from this quarterback? He really didn't have any other option than to put it right in there and give it everything that he had. Great timing and a good job of squeezing that in between the defenders. So a very makeable third down for this offense from the 26-yard line. And a short pitch and catch to the tight end. He's tackled quickly, but the yardage is good enough for the first down. A new set of downs after that completion. On first and ten, they'll look to throw it. And he throws his third interception of the day. Finally able to take him down, but that's a great return after the pick. I just don't think there's anything else you can do as a play caller. You've got to be able to throw the ball downfield. You just got to hope that your quarterback and receivers can execute when the defense knows it's coming. Here the interception cost them. Here comes the powerful Ohio State offense onto the field. They're looking to build on the lead. They had to punt the football in their last possession. There's some pre-snap movement back in motion. Looking to the end zone. And it's incomplete, targeting a man right near the goal line. Chris, that ball's tipped up into the air, and it's anybody's football. The defense, first of all, does a great job of anticipating a throw down in the red zone, and they're in great position to knock that ball up. But it was exciting to see would anybody come up with it once it was in the air. Play action fake, looking, and he'll loft it to the end zone. Looking for a touchdown, but it's incomplete. That is a really tough feeling for a receiver to be way downfield like that, ready for a big play, and just unable to connect with your quarterback. I'm sure they're going to go to the sideline, looking to call another shot downfield again here in a little bit. They move the ball into good position, but now it's third and long. Kibbe decides to keep it here. Goes backwards, losing three yards there. Man, I love this option call, but the quarterback, I think he's just trying to make a play that wasn't there. Sometimes on this option play, you just got to eat it. It's just not there. The execution's not there. The defense plays it well. You got to tip your cap. Here, he tries to make a play that's not there, and the result is a loss of yardage. He knocks this one right through. And that will extend their lead even further. So after adding to this big lead, they are set to kick it away. Fielded in the end zone. It's Bell. And bulldozing his way through. And he gets it out to the 28. Tackle right there. And the powerful Georgia offense is back out on the field. This drive is important. Last one ended in an interception. Let's see if they can get it going here. They're looking to set up a screen pass here. And the tackle is made. The screen pass there produces a solid game. Screen plays are risky because the defense can get to the quarterback and it also can be covered. Many times, the quarterback just throws it away. Here they get some positive yards. Second down after that previous play. 
to throw. It's back. Caught over the middle. Tackle made after a nice pickup on the play. Tackle made, but a strong arm throw by the senior quarterback. This is turning into a monster day for this quarterback, Kirk. His passing yards now up over 350. Yeah, and it seems like this defense has tried everything. They're blitzing. They're sitting back in zone. They're trying to double coverage certain receivers. Uh, everything that they've tried is, unfortunately for them, not working because of how well this quarterback is seeing it and throwing today. Time is running out. They'll take a deep shot. Catch made wide open way downfield. Touchdown, Bulldogs. Just ran away from the defense. Well, you could tell that this play caller, the offense coordinator, he's thinking about the future. He wants to see how his quarterback and how this offense wants to compete when this game's out of reach. He's going to be very happy with the result of this play. Now the important point after attempt. And it's up and good. Looks like they're lining up to attempt an onside kick. And the receiving team has recovered. Looks like the hands team did its job. Okay, here comes the Ohio State offense back on the field. What a satisfying feeling for this team. Just run out the clock and let the celebration begin. And they'll bring him down after just a short pickup. Well, anytime you use your quarterback as a runner, the goal is obviously to hit some big plays. You've got to be careful of letting your quarterback take too many big hits. Not only can he get tired, he can also start to fumble the football. Second down play coming up. And they'll keep it on the ground, trying to run some clock. They'll stop him behind the line for a loss of one. They're backed up here, trying to make something happen on third and long. Scanning the field. It's Howard. Receiver makes the catch. The completion gains about six yards, but now it's a fourth down call. Well, these guys just won't let up. I mean, they already have this game out of reach. They have a big lead. They're still throwing the football and still just putting it on this defense every chance they get. And the field goal unit coming on the field now. And he's got it from 48 yards out, showing off the big leg. 